correct. You did not read the title incorrectly. American food is the best food in, in the, the world. world. If you're completely caught off guard by this, watch my previous video about why Italian food is overrated. Mamma mia! Now, I... <laughs> I know we're not even 30 seconds in the video, and this bald man has made some pretty insane claims, but bear with me, people. The whole world, this includes us Americans, uh, tend not to view American food in the most favorable light. In fact, we rate number 28, Bruh. according to this US News article, in terms of food quality. 28 people. What? I don't believe America should be number 28. We should be number one, as always. This isn't a healthcare graph, okay? This is a food graph. We are number one in food. And shootings. In the spirit of my previous video, let's continue with the list thing. Top five reasons why American food is the best. Or at least underrated. Drastically underrated. Reason number one. America is a melting pot. A sweet, sweet, delicious melting pot. As the famous phrase goes, America is a melting pot, but so is its food. As new immigrants arrived to America, they brought with them their families, their languages, their cultures, and more importantly for our reasons, their delicious food. This new influx of foreign foods quickly became domestic foods as different types of cuisines mixed with other types of cuisines and continue to mix to this day. Some of the most famous dishes and styles of food in the world, such as sushi, pizza, Mexican, and I guess Chinese, at least in the style that most Americans and outsiders know, are styled in the American fashion. For example, P.F. Chang's, Taco Bell, and most of the sushis that we know of seem to be authentic. They do seem to be authentic. And to us, the uneducated, it is. But what those foods actually are is what is known as fusion foods or fusion cuisine, whichever you prefer. Cuisine sounds fancier, so we're gonna go with that. First, we need to make a distinction. Do all of these fusion cuisines, if changed up enough, do they qualify as American food? For the purposes of this video, and my opinion being correct, we're gonna say yes. Also, as covered in the previous Italian video, some foods from those countries were also dependent on ingredients that came from America, such as tomatoes, potatoes, and corn, all of which are native to America. Maybe not the US of A America, but the America, but nobody has to know this besides me and you. So let's pretend, let's pretend it's just all USA, baby. But are all these foreign foods these foreign fusion foods, all that America has to offer? No. Reason number two, America is big. Barbecue, clam chowder, chocolate chip cookies, chips, hot wings, shrimp jambalaya, etc, 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 etc. What do all of these foods have in common? Correct class. They are from different parts of America. We may ridicule the South, and my God, do they deserve it. But their food is absolutely delicious. America is enormous. So taking McDonald's and KFC as a representative assortment of foods of America would just be wrong and unfair. America is not only an importer of foods, but it is also an exporter of different types of cuisine that its own American geniuses have created over the centuries. In fact, we are so good at producing food that America ranks number one in its export of food. Americans are clearly doing something right. And the thing we do better than anybody else, besides war, obviously, is that we know how to do flavor. There's a reason why we're one of the fattest countries in the world. And with our delicious flavors, we are making everybody else fatter. One meal at a time. Reason three, breakfast. Presenting example one. Presenting example two. Do I really need to say anything else? Reason number four, cheap and readily available. Like this video's like and subscribe buttons, which are located 
down below. So why don't you grab your own free sample and give those a click? But yes, American food is cheap and readily available. These shrines of food are everywhere in the world, not just in America. It almost seems like you can't escape the grasp of American cuisine, even when traveling outside of the country. The reason being is because these places, these shrines of mostly junk food are cheap and honestly pretty delicious. Don't lie. I know you like McDonald's, sir, or milady. Don't pretend you're better than everybody else. I don't like McDonald's. Of course you do. Of course you do. And if you don't like McDonald's, you like something else. Maybe KFC, maybe Taco Bell, but you like something else. You think you're better than me? You think you're better than all of us? No. And you're definitely not better than me, I think. The flavor of these fast food places helps with the sales, but also the price helps with sales. Why would you go to a fancy French restaurant and spend $120 when you can go to any of these places and spend 12 I personally believe cheap and easily available food is overall a positive, but this is also the main problem. Image. And number five. Perception. Cheap and easily available equals what, typically? Junk food. American cuisine's biggest problem is that people perceive American food to only be junk food. To be fair, this is mostly America's problem, or at least the corporations selling junk food that's not good for people. Now, I never made the case that American food is healthy, so don't attack me, people. I'm just the messenger. I may get a heart attack due to my clogged arteries, but the food is still delicious. Sadly, across the globe, most people are only exposed to fast food places. That's their only experience of American food, is McDonald's and KFC and Taco Bell and Subway and P.F. Chang's, maybe. In America, at least we can experience different quote-unquote other American dishes. Some of these foods pictured here traditionally may not be considered as American, but as discussed previously in reason number one, they most certainly are American. The perception that American food is only junk food is outdated, but it's also not entirely wrong. So what is the point of this video? Well, as an immigrant, I had the exact same perception of American food. I thought American food was just junk food, was basic. But over time, over these two decades, my God. One year away from two decades of living here. 28 people, 28. Jesus. My views have evolved on American food. It went from, yeah, it's pretty much all junk food to, wow, this is the best food in the world or at least underrated. It definitely is underrated. My views have evolved. I hope yours can too. If this video has not convinced you that American food is the best, that's okay. I won't be mad. Just disappointed, okay, son? But at least I hope this video made you appreciate this underrated cuisine that you and I eat unknowingly or unthinkingly, un yeah, yeah, unthinkingly, almost every day. Since we just talked about the most underrated foods in the world, why don't you click on this video here about the most overrated foods in the world and why it isn't?